Good afternoon, a bit of a Sunday spectacular. So I'm going to talk you through some of Corgi's 2019 uh, aircraft, including the D-Day uh, collection of four of the five currently. We're just still waiting on the F5 D-Day Blue Lightning to come out, which will come out later this summer, hopefully. Um, so a bit of a spectacular lineup, as I've already touched upon. Um, I will do individual videos for each and every one, um, but I'll go for each one now, just to give you a very quick overview. So the first aircraft is one that's quite recognisable um, to all air show goers this summer, uh, and that is the 1944 version of That's All Brother, um, the D-Day machine, which was the lead Dakota during the D-Day invasion on the 6th of June 1944. This comes with a radar pod, which I don't know if you can just quite see it underneath there, which is very different to most Dakotas. Uh, like I said, I'll do a full video on this because it's more deserving of it. You can't go wrong with this one. This is a D-Day striped marked 1B to Hawker Typhoon with the full D-Day stripes. This is an aircraft representing 245 Squadron, which is a Northern Rotation Squadron base at Homely uh, South Airfield in Hampshire on June, or in June 1944. Next is quite an old mould, but still looking quite spectacular, and that's the Spitfire Mark 14C. Uh, and this is an aircraft of the Dutch Squadron 322 Squadron, uh, representing an aircraft around about August 1944. Again, a fairly old mould now in, uh, in our eyes, and that's the BF109G mould. Uh, and this is a G6 of an aircraft that landed at RF Manston in late July 1944. The next aircraft is the lovely Westland Lysander Mark 3A. Uh, it's a special ops version, obviously. Um, Represent an aircraft around about 1943. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see the aircraft restoration company's lovely um, Mark 1 restored at some point as well. The next aircraft is a lovely BF-110E. Uh, represent an aircraft out of Deland, Holland in the spring of 1942. And this comes with the lovely Antler style uh, radio mast at the front there and this will be my third black 110 uh, along with the other Colgate example and the one by Atlas. The, the next of the German contingent is this lovely Heinkel HE111H uh, and this is one which carries a V1 flying bomb as you can see now. Not a massive amount of clearance between that and the ground. Uh, these always seem to sell really really well and become hard to uh, get hold of over the coming years. The final aircraft of the collection is this beautiful handy page Halifax B3 uh, and this is an aircraft representing expensive babe of the number 51 squadron based at RAF Snaith in the March of 1945 uh, and it's actually a Centurion as well so it did a hundred missions this aircraft um, but also you know beautiful beautiful casting and mould uh, always seems to sell really really well. Just a very, very, very quick video on this Sunday afternoon, um, just to sort of talk through some of the releases, mainly the Second World War stuff. Obviously, a little bit more to come there. We've got Flak Eater due, and we've got Immelman 2, the JU 52 uh, Hitler's personal transport to come out relatively soon as well. So, hopefully, it'll be our chance to have a look at them. Um, I will do individual videos for uh, probably the D Day range and each and every one, only like short two minute videos. Uh, I think they're more deserving, you can have a look closer at the detail uh, as well. Uh, and I will put up some pictures on Instagram and the webpage so you can see some detail. Okay, uh, speak to you soon, uh, and thanks for watching.